Hi guys, it's Ray with Ray's Turquoise Turtle. Today we're going to do another print then cut. Um, this one's kind of a baseball slash softball mom. Could go for either one. So, or you know, if a mom has both. Uh, I really liked this image too when I was looking for them. So, I went ahead and did this one as well. And this is printed on... Um, Yep, HTV Rant matte printable vinyl. No sealing required. That's nice when it comes to the printable vinyls. If you're putting it on a tumbler under epoxy, you do not have to seal off of an inkjet like you do water slide. Um, because it's white, I'm just going to go on a white skinny straight tumbler. And. Getting it trimmed down. I'm going to end up trimming the top and the bottom with my edge trimmer most likely, but I do want it semi straight to begin with. And that is the wrong edge of my trimmer. I have made that mistake before. Okay. This is a Fiskars rotary cut trimmer, it has a wheel in here not a straight line one and guillotine trimmers and myself are not friends so <laughs> any paper trimmer I buy I buy that style so I'm just going to get a little edge prepared to start I'm gonna flip it back down though because I do want to get semi lined up. Last time I didn't really even try. So I figured I'd try a little harder this time. But again, I am still going to edge trim because it's a little too long for this cup. All right. So I have my felt lined squeegee. But there we go. Ignore all these bubbles at the end. They're going to go bye-bye in a minute. Top and bottom. Yeah, so don't really need that on there. I didn't really want to handle that all that much, but I did. So Edge trimmer. I want to use the top edge. Well, you know what? I'm going to do them both at the same setting. So to adjust it, you just use your little tool to loosen it up. And you have a stack of like acrylic blanks and your blade. And you just restack them. I just moved the blade up one setting. Hopefully that'll be far enough. And clamp it all back down. I need to actually tighten this whole thing up from the bottom a little bit. But it's a little wobbly. <clears throat> so we will trim it and see if that's far enough. So 
That's right, I just scraped so much of that off the bottom anyways. Okay, so my image is on and trimmed. Now I have to decide what color I want to um, I'm still going to have a couple of wrinkles at the bottom, but I don't want to go any higher. And I do have one bubble here. So for the bubble, I'm going to pop it the same way I would regular vinyl if it had a bubble. I'm going to try and do it on the edge of the color and just push the air out. And if it doesn't get it all, give it another hole and push the air. And I believe there's one small one right here. So that's all I'm seeing. So I'm going to grab my Mod Podge and some white paint because I think I'm going to glitter white. I don't want to do red or yellow on this one. So I will be back when I'm ready to glitter. Okay, so I just have a little Mod Podge and a little white paint in here. I'm just going to mix it together. And I'm going to use my girl's best friend cheat glitter as my white glitter. So, and I'm also going to use that in my top coat. So if it strays a little bit, it's not going to be the end of the world because it's going to end up coating the entire cup anyways. And I'm probably going to end up with two coats. Okay, so um, this isn't even going to need a full second coat, especially since it's getting the same glitter as an all-over cheat. So I just touched up the one little spot on the bottom, or two little spots on the bottom that really needed it. I'm going to touch up these couple little top spots. And I'm going to let this dry thoroughly, and then we'll get over to resin. Okay, time to finish this one up. I'm going to use, like I said, the Girl's Best Friend Cheat Glitter from It's Pretty Personal. And I'm just going to do the tiniest sprinkle on top. And I'm also going to use a tiny, tiny bit of the diamond dust. Um, and I do mean a very small amount of that also. Just so it's got a little bit of the finer plus the glitter itself. So I'm going to get that mixed in. And we'll just get a coat on here. Okay, I'm going to bring you down for a look at this, and um, that'll be it. I don't want you to think this cup is done with just one coat of resin. It is going to get two clear coats after this, but they're just going to be thin and clear. You can still see a little bit of that wrinkling, but it's not um, terribly noticeable. Absolutely love this pattern. Love that shimmer over the ball. You can hardly see that little wrinkle across the mom at all at this point. So, uh, really pleased with this overall. And the bottom's just white again. So.
so well, there you go this image if i didn't mention is from creative fabrica i will also link this one down below um or you can sign up for a dollar trial for the first month and have access to hundreds of thousands of images and fonts and stuff so um there you go another one done thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one